Hey, what's up everybody? It's Damron. We are on mission 8, Rubble and Ruin of our Sniper Elite 5 complete playthrough, grabbing all the collectibles in one playthrough. We're getting all the classified documents, personal letters, workbenches, the dead eye targets Crack for the Stone Eagles, here. and the hidden items, which brings us to mission 8, which is actually the final mission with collectibles. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to start on the southern portion of the map, and just literally right in the beginning, the first thing that you're going to come to is this little courtyard here with the statue in the middle. There's going to be some German soldiers but on the north side of that statue is our first collectible sitting on some wooden crates here makes things easier if the nazis can't call in help progressing northeast just a little bit again this is really not far from where we just were you're eventually going to come to this area where you're going to kind of slide down this path to order to get down to a kind of lower level uh street level of this area and the building that's right in front of you kind of in the window on a wooden crate is our next classified document Nazis broke a resistance member? Damn. After we've picked up that classified document, we're going to head east um, just a little bit. So you can see we're actually trying to head to this building that I've marked on the map. You're going to have to kind of go prone to kind of crawl underneath some rubble to get to this location. Now, if you had a, you know, satchel charge, you could blow up the front door to go in. But nonetheless, just head around the backhand side if you don't have one. And you're going to find a ladder that leads up into the second level of this house. So once you climb up that ladder, now we're actually going to go down the stairs right to our right to the first level of the building and you're going to find a key rack down here where we can grab a key you know right above this kind of dresser here so once you pick up that dresser now we can head back up the stairs use that key to unlock this door right here and once you unlock that you're going to find your next collectible right in front of you on a desk resistance safe houses might be compromised after we've grabbed that, now we're going to head northwest a little bit. This interrogation room should be on your map. Uh, you should be able to see that based on some of the classified documents that we picked up. So go ahead and head in that direction, and we're going to head to the interrogation room. So drop down in here, and you can actually see the interrogation room right here. There's a door. Again, you could blow that up with a satchel charge. There's an officer you could get the key from, but I will show you opposite of the entrance is a small kind of hidden path that you can take to kind of go around the backside to get into that interrogation room and once you get in here on the desk is our next classified Locations document the resistance caches in the city better get to these before the from the interrogation room now we're going to head you know west just a little bit north to this building right here this is actually one of the entry points into the mission that you can unlock but if you go all the way to the western side of the map what you're looking for is this building that has the metro cafe sign on it so once you find that head up to the second floor make your way around and you'll be able to kind of jump up onto the ledge where you can get onto the third level once you get up here just kind of make your way around you'll open this door this is actually one of the entry points to the mission but once you come in here you can jump up on this table and jump into the attic of this building where on the ground lies Sounds our next like classified document left information in a safe from that building now we're going to kind of head east along that road we're kind of in the courtyard area right here of all these buildings that's just south of your kill target so again we're just south of the kill target so you can see where i am on the map and there's a stone eagle that's actually on top of that building where the kill target is right on the middle and the way that we get there is from that courtyard if you kind of head north you'll see it's all blown away with some kind of angled wooden plank that you can head up into and once you get up into the next level on that kind of slanted path just look through the window and you'll see the stone eagle right in front of you again right on the center portion of that kill target building so go ahead and shoot that and take that out and then once you've taken out that stone eagle we're in the same building we're going to turn to our left and you can actually run and jump to this kind of wooden you know wooden platform that's hanging down and you can grab onto that and climb up into the next level of the building where our workbench will be right in front of you Progressing on from that kill target, now we're kind of heading southeast a little bit. This is a large kind of courtyard area. There's going to be a lot of enemies here. There's kind of an enemy base here, so you know, kind of a small encampment, so to speak, uh, which is right here. But essentially, on the north side of that is a theater. You can notice it by the blue, uh, blue entryways. Okay, go into the left entryway, and as soon as you go in, hang a left, you'll see a ladder here that you can climb up to get to the second level. Once you get to the second level, immediately turn left, and there's going to be a crate that we can open with our crowbars. So go ahead and open that up to get our next personal letter inside the crate. Forged Führer signature, huh? Well, 
So from that personal letter, now we're going to head south. Okay, we're just going to kind of cross that large enemy encampment, and we have an optional objective in this large church. Okay, so you can't miss this. Again, this is just south of where we were. I've kind of cleared out the enemies. But once you've done, you know, whatever you want to do, head into the church from that northern entrance, and there's going to be a ladder right in front of you that you can take. So go ahead and walk up that ladder to get to the next level. And as soon as you get to the next level, turn around, and you'll see another ladder that you can hop on. Start climbing that ladder, and this one actually will continue you to go up two floors so once you get to the next floor you need to hop off and turn to your right and you should see a picture kind of leaning up against the wall that's gonna be our first hidden item of the level well this is definitely art from that piece of art, we're going to get our next workbench. So if you actually hop back up on that ladder and take that ladder up to the you know top floor of this tower in the church, uh, you know you can actually come up here and open up this crate here. And by opening up this crate, we're going to be able to get two things. One is a satchel charge that we can probably use later, but also in here is a crypt key. So we're going to use that crypt key to get underneath the church without having to waste one of our satchel charge. So grab that, and then we'll just kind of make our way back down this tower again. So we'll just kind of drop down all these holes and essentially go back out to that courtyard that's north of the church itself. So this is, you know, kind of where we had originally walked in, except this time now we're actually going to go underneath the church. So here's the church. Now we're going to go underneath it and, and kind of under this stone archway, you're going to see a door that you can now use that crypt key on. Again, you could blow it up with a satchel charge if you, to, you know, you choose to do it that way. But, well, you know, however you get in here, the workbench is going to be right in front of you. And that's our last pistol workbench in the game. So after we've collected that workbench, now we're going to head southeast to kind of the southeastern section of the map. Uh, this is where you're going to have an indicator for the sea view offices. So this should be on your map based on the, you know, intel that we've gathered so far. But nonetheless, when you get here, this is the building you're looking for, the kind of destroyed brick building with blue doors and balconies. So go ahead and head to the back side of that building, and you'll see a destroyed portion of the wall that you can go into. As soon as you go through that, you're going to find your next personal letter sitting right here on a table next to a typewriter. Also, from this building, we're going to be able to see our next dead eye target or our stone eagle, which is pretty southwest of us, kind of actually off the map. So you can see it's pretty far away. But from that building and from right where we collected that collectible, if you just look through the window that has the red drapes on it, you should be able to get a nice angle on that stone eagle off in the distance. Again, just look southwest of you, take that shot, and we only have one more dead eye target to go. All right, so from that building, now we're going to head north to the hotel. Again, this should be indicated on your map. If you've collected the classified documents, you know, this should be on your map. Either way, it's this building right here. So go ahead and make your way north up to this hotel so you can see it right here. We're heading into the south doorway. I've kind of cleared out all the enemies, but as soon as you go in on the bottom floor, hang a right, open this door right here, and right in front of you on a desk will be our next personal letter. Mahler's leaving notes. <laughs> Must be good. From that it. personal letter, we're going to get our final classified document. Right. We're going to head up to the second level of the hotel. As soon as you head, uh, head up the main stairwell, there is a crate here that you can open with a crowbar. That's going to have a hotel key in it. You can use that hotel key to open this door right here. Again, you should know what door it is because it'll have that kind of indicator that you could also use a satchel charge. So open that with the hotel key. You're going to find a safe. And as long as you have kind of used or got the intel that I've been getting, you should have these safe codes. But if not, you can use a satchel charge to blow it up and get our final classified document of the game, the last one of this mission. And if you've been following my guide, that is all 39. You should unlock the burn after reading medal and achievement. So from that hotel, now we're going to kind of head north a little bit and take the main road and kind of curve all the way around to the kind of northeast section of the area that's indicated on the map where we have to find the sewer. Okay, so if you go up to the northeast side of that and you look far northeast, you're going to see off the map is our next dead uh dead eye target our final dead eye target our final stone eagle so if you go to where i am on the map again look northeast you should see that on a wall in the distance so go ahead and take that shot and that's going to be all 24 dead eye targets again these are also known as the stone eagles when they pop up for you in the game but the you know the achievement is to kill all the dead eye targets nonetheless once you have killed all of those you will you know finish that off and we'll have all 24 we'll get the eagle eyed medal and the eagle eyed achievement for getting all of them so once we've done that now we can enter the sewer keep in mind this is a point of no return in this mission when you go through that gate into the sewer you can no longer exit to collect things outside so be sure you're done outside before we go in here and then once you do okay. enter the Just sewer immediately to, to your left hand side behind some wooden crates is going to be our final 
personal letters. So our final of 41 personal letters is right here. And if you've been following my guide, you should get the From Paris with Love Medal as well as the achievement for collecting all of those. So straight in front of us is also a gate that we can blow up with a satchel charge. If you don't have a satchel charge, you should though, as I told you to pick up that one earlier. But if you don't, don't worry, you can get the key to this a little bit later on. But nonetheless, once you blow that up, the crate that's on the left-hand side, you can open up with a crowbar. And when you open up that, you'll find your next hidden item sitting inside. Progressing on into the bunker that is kind of through the uh, you know sewer system, this is essentially where you're going to have to blow up some U-boats. There will be an Axis Armory uh, kind of icon on your map. And again, this is right after you take the path out of the sewers, okay? So this is, this is very recognizable. You won't have any trouble seeing this. This is literally right where you come out. And when you go down those stairs, you're going to see a crate here that you can open with a crowbar, inside of which is going to be the Armory key. So you can use that to open this Armory door right here in front of us, or again, if you have a satchel charge you can just blow it up if you want to nonetheless once you open that door our 24th and final workbench is going to be right in front of you the final rifle workbench and the final workbench overall so if you've been following my guide that's all 24 and you should unlock the tinker medal as well as the achievement for collecting all of those once you've kind of finished that first area of the bunker and you can progress on to the area where you have to sabotage the crack and fuel system okay so this is kind of the second area of this underground bunker so this is pretty recognized recognizable but when you're in here if you kind of go to the left hand side there's some offices uh, so to speak uh, kind of on the second level and if you go to kind of the main area there's a large table with some schematics on it as well as our 24th and final hidden item and so that is all 24 hidden items so if you've been following my guide you should unlock the souvenir hunter achievement as well as the medal for collecting all the hidden items and that's also all the collectibles in the game so there are no collectibles in mission nine so that's going to wrap it up i hope you guys found this helpful as always hopefully i'll see you around maybe in a game or maybe in a future video damn run out